Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install a new operating system inside the Hyper-V. And beside that one, if you don't know how to enable Hyper-V, go ahead and watch the previous video that I published yesterday. So, let's just go ahead and start creating a new virtual machine and then installing a so, uh, sorry, a uh, uh, in the operating system inside it. So simply search for Hyper-V and here you can see that Hyper-V manager is open, as uh, appeared. Simply click open and here you can see that we are in the Hyper-V manager. By default it will be like this. You will have to simply click on the desktop which is basically the name of this PC at the moment and from there you'll have to simply choose new and from there you'll have to choose virtual machine we are creating a new virtual machine to install an open system okay here you can see that we are here this is the new virtual machine wizard uh here it has explained some default settings but we are not going to read them at all and then move to the next step uh provide a name to the virtual machine i'm going to provide it windows 11 uh, for testing purposes, I'm also going to put a name at the end. You can also uh, save these files, sorry, those the virtual machine into another location. I'm going to save it in the desktop from in here. Just simply click browse and desktop and new folder and select folder and move to the next step. Okay, here is two options, which is basically still the same old uh hyper v there is the generation one and then the generation two generation two is 32 and 64 bit operating system it can support but generation two only uh support the 64 bit operating system under the uefi uh boot so you can see that it's just with the i think it's the same with the currently windows 11 which is only supporting uefi uh and the secure board okay we'll have to choose generation 2 because windows 11 comes only in this generation here and then click next uh you'll have to mention the amount of frame for it here uh i'm going to put a 2 for or maybe 4 gb of frame 4096 uh it will be 4 gb of frame and the dynamic memory is also okay uh, and once you are done with this section, go to the next step, which is configure networking. Let's see what are available here. I'm going to choose the default switch that is totally fine at the moment and then click next. And it's saying that connect virtual hard disk. Uh, okay, the location is totally fine. Uh, the storage is 127 GB. By default, you can also increase it to any amount of storage that you want. I'm going to put the 20 sorry the 200 gb but the maximum is 64 terabyte uh okay it is saying that uh, we are going to create a new virtual machine so we are not basically using an existing virtual disk so that is totally fine and we'll have to click next to move to the next step it is saying that uh you can install a reference system now if you access the setup media okay I have the ISO from here I'm going to click browse and then uh, go to the this PC and again the drive and OS and finally there is the Windows 11 22,000.100 I'm going to provide the link uh, in the description or basically you can get from the uh, into zoom.com just open into zoom.com here and uh, you will see that here is a post is pinned here and every time a new update is released i'm simply coming here and updating the links uh, which is download windows 11 iso image even though there are all these steps are the same uh, legally how you can get it you can just simply read them but among them if you scroll down to the end you will see that here is uh, these two parts are down uh, here is the 22,000.100 just simply click on uh, download all these parts and put them inside a folder and unzip it but here is the windows 11 22,000.51 it is the iso you can download it from google drive just simply click on it and download it at the moment so when you have that one just simply click next 
Uh, here you can review the settings you just configured. Here you can see that generation 2 for GB frame default switch and location and operating system. Okay, once you are done with them, simply click finish. It is going to configure all the required settings and that is done. Okay, open the Hyper-V manager. Here you can see that the Windows 11 test it is the name. Simply click connect. Here you can see that it is the Windows 11 uh, virtualization machine. So simply click start. Okay, just press any key on the keyboard. Okay, I think that is missed something or maybe not. No idea. Okay, is there anything that... Okay, how about make it full screen? Control Alt Break. Okay, this is full screen. We can also unpin it, I think. Mm -hmm. Somehow it is stuck here. Let's where is control alt delete if you are stuck here control alt and delete it must have that keyword yep it is this one yep now it moved to the next step i think i think so yeah it is definitely moving fully screen and unpin it <laughs> yes we are here finally okay just simply click next and install now and hold on a moment okay it is uh, we have to activate but i do not have a product key so i don't have a product key from here you can choose any edition of the windows 11 that you are interested in uh, i will go with windows 11 pro because it can join the domain and next and accept the license and terms and click next here is the custom installation and finally everything is ready just simply click next okay this part is going to take some time i think around uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes but again it depends on the speed of your computer the ram the ssd or if it has hdd then it will going to take some time so we'll have to wait for this section until it will be done and Till that time, I am going to pause the video and when it's done, I will be coming back with you guys. Okay, at the moment, you can see that it is trying to restart the OS. So I'm going to click restart now. Okay, I think it is restarted and it is going to take some time around, uh, I have no idea how much, but we'll have to wait again uh, and I'm going to pause the video again. Yep, it is getting things ready in the Hyper-V. Okay, here is the Windows 11 logo during the installation. Uh, I think we'll have to wait. It is. It took a lot of time compared to the virtual box and VMware workstation play where I installed them and test the Windows 11. For some reason, it is also using a lot of resources too in the Hyper-V. So I don't know whatever the reason is, but simply click yes and move to the next step. Okay, it is the keyboard layout, click yes, and skip the keyboard layout, and we'll have to wait again. 
okay for whatever reason that took around seven minutes i don't know why but it was only simply checking for the web okay i'm going to skip this now and again it's going to i think update or something so it's going to take a while again okay this time it did not take a lot of work so i'm going to service this computer for work so this virtual machine for work and again we'll have to wait okay it is saying that something is wrong i just don't care about that one just simply click escape and we'll have to wait again okay it's saying that is this account for a child no don't sign in with the microsoft account either okay now it is asking to name the pc i'm going to name it Alia boss okay now it's fine and move next password again password uh answer the security questions i'm just simply typing it because <laughs> cortana is kind of funny to me okay you should you should never do it for whatever reason if anyone can find that one they can simply access your password even though you can break the password if you have a bootable usb flash drive okay it is saying that privacy settings you can enable them if you want i'm going to disable them all i don't need them at all okay uh once you are done simply click accept and that is the final step it is going to again will be on the next window so we'll have to wait again okay finally we are here and it is saying that uh, you have to configure the display with this size it is by default the uh, hyper v settings okay just simply click connect and hold on a moment yep now it is totally full screen okay nope i'm going to pin it here yeah that is good the password is also one and two and a three and that's all <coughs> okay it took a lot of time to install just the windows inside the virtual machine here okay the battery life is 37 uh, percent that is a lot really really a lot okay so basically this is how you can install the uh windows 11 inside the virtual sorry inside the hyper v in windows 11 so I hope you guys uh, like this video and I will meet you guys in the next video and beside. So here you can see that still we have some issue of getting the new uh, Microsoft Store. So you can see that it is the Windows 10 Microsoft Store and beside here in Windows 11 which is installed on my actual computer. I somehow got it and I have already created a video regarding to how get it. Uh, it is available inside the into guide YouTube channel so you can just simply visit it there and you can know how to download the latest version so in the next video i'm going to explain how to basically install the where is that one install the uh, microsoft store using an msi software so Till next time, have a nice time and goodbye and do not forget to subscribe into Guide YouTube channel. So have a nice day and goodbye.